friends, tonight's illustrated lecture is on gardening. Now honestly, how long has it been since you dillied with a pansy or dallied with your daisies? No friends, if you don't have a green thumb, you're lucky. It's a sure sign you're rotting away. Gardening as a hobby goes clear back to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. You all remember Adam fooling around with Eve's apples, don't you? Well, that was gardening of a sort. Now for your equipment. It's very important. Or is that an understatement? A hoe and a rake are customary implements. And for irrigating your garden, it's wise to have a well-built can. Never underestimate the importance of your can. Also, you should have a garden hose. A really well-kept garden requires a good hosing now and then. Oops, there must be a leaky connection somewhere. Uh, but we must continue with the lecture on how to trim a tree. In trimming a tree properly, the idea is to expose the limbs. Take the foliage off a little at a time. This exposes the limbs to the sun. Once the upper part of the tree has been exposed, attention must be paid to the trunk. Peel off the loose box slowly and with care. Sometimes you'll notice that a tree, after being trimmed, has bumps on the trunk. These are called burls and are quite normal. Of course, the size will vary. Some trees have small burls, while others have tremendous ones. But so much for trimming a tree. Getting back to watering your garden, as I said before, it depends mostly on how you handle your can. Most experts advise wiggling the can back and forth when you're watering, thereby giving it wider distribution. So much for your can. Now let's talk about your grass. It must be given attention too. After all, it can take quite a beating. You sit on your grass, walk around on your grass. Friends come over and playfully knock you flat on your grass. My goodness, you might even find stray animals in it. What's that old ballad? There's a monkey in the grass with... Well, you remember it, don't you? My goodness, something seems to be wrong. Now I wonder what could have happened to the water. Something like this could result in your grass shriveling up, you know. Whoops! Well, <laughs> there's the water. Now let's discuss planting in your garden. After all, it's only human nature to want to plant something, isn't it? The size of the hole depends on what you're going to plant. After the seeds are in, put in a pinch of atomic plant food, the new synthetic fertilizer produced by contented chemists instead of contented cows. After covering the seeds, level the soil and pat it down. Then you'll know your grass from a hole in the ground. Well, this is a garden. And don't think it won't be popular in your neighborhood.